What makes an entrepreneur? Is it the ability to endure the long hours, the stress, the loneliness? That's what we're told, but alone those can actually break an entrepreneur. After all, nobody wants to be known as tired, lonely, and stressed. But what if it could be more? What if being an entrepreneur meant having a community? People who understand the journey, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. What makes an entrepreneur? A lot of things. But what we make, plain and simple, is community. Hi, I'm Christy from Ocean. I want to invite you to imagine something. Imagine that you have a problem. It comes up every day, maybe it's a part of your industry and your job, your family routine, your morning routine, your hobby, but it's a problem and you think there's got to be a solution. This is an easy fix. So you look for it, run a Google search, find, no, nope, not finding anything, keep looking, keep looking, there's no solution out there. And you think, man, I can't be the only one with this problem. There needs to be a solution. Hmm. Maybe I'll build it myself. Maybe. So you decide to go for it. You step out into the future that you're going to create. But it gets tough really fast. Being an entrepreneur is hard. It stretches your finances and strains your relationships. Your blood pressure skyrockets. This is okay. This is part of the deal. It'll get better. It'll get better. But the chaos just keeps going. Ugh. Broken relationships. Constant health problems. Losing a little bit of your soul. Is this just part of the cost of doing business? Did I make a huge mistake? Looking for a little support to just keep going a little bit longer, you find an accelerator from Cincinnati, Ohio. Looks a little bit different than the other ones. So you decide to apply and are accepted. Now, you're surrounded by other founders who know what you're going through. It's not just you, by entrepreneurs a little bit further down the road. They're here to help you, to offer you the wisdom of their experience, to teach you and mentor you and train you. And investors, people who see the potential in this solution that you're building, who see the potential in your leadership and are willing to put their capital behind it. Now, with this support network behind you, you are able to pursue that dream in a new way. Your relationships are being restored. Your health is coming back. Your soul is refreshed. Wow. After six weeks of working alongside these other founders, you get the chance to pitch in front of hundreds of people in front of other investors, in front of other entrepreneurs, in front of students and friends and family, people that you have known your whole career who want to support you. This idea that you have built into a business is on display for the whole world to see. Welcome to Ocean Accelerator Demo Day 2021. We are here to celebrate and witness the work of Ocean's High Tech Accelerator Class 7. And whether you are an entrepreneur, a venture capitalist, a supportive family and friend, a student, or someone at the very beginning of your story with a dream that you're thinking about stepping out into, we are all characters in a story of entrepreneurship, a story of possibility and growth and hope. And we're going to get to meet these founders and the businesses that they're building. But before we do, I want to invite David Scott, the managing director of Class 7, to join me on stage. And while David does that, I also want to say thank you to the many, many people who have come around these founders and offered their support, especially our executive and resident, Scott Weiss. To the dozens of guest speakers and mentors who have volunteered your time on behalf of the Ocean community and especially Class 7. 
Thank you. Now, David, you've spent a lot of time with these companies over the last 16 weeks. Tell us a little bit about what have they been through. Absolutely. So I've been around uh, Ocean since the very beginning, and we've always taught our accelerator based on five key pillars. So we start out in the early days of the accelerator helping our companies validate the problem and the solution that they're trying to solve and making sure that they actually get out in front of real customers to you know, sort of explore and make sure they've got that product market fit that's so important. And then we move on and we work with them on their business model and their revenue model to make sure this thing that they're building can actually make money and be investable. The third pillar is to really focus our entrepreneurs on getting ready to be investable, to be investor ready, to be able to have those tough conversations with angel investors and venture capitalists. And then the thing that makes Ocean really unique is we have two pillars that are not done in, in, in most other places. We, we focus on mitigating founder isolation by helping build community around these founders and empowering them to have these deep, meaningful relationships amongst themselves and amongst our team. And then we also focus on helping our founders be culture creators. Because as we all know, people spend about 2,000 hours a year at work. And so we want our companies that come out of Ocean to be ready to be impactful for not only the founders and the, and the investors, but also for the employees that, that serve the companies. And then the other thing that we've done uh, new this year is we, we've encouraged the companies to come up with 21 things. We sort of told them what these were, and they're going to graduate with 21 deliverables that they have that are tools and, and documents and things that are going to be very impactful and meaningful as they go forth and, and uh, hopefully take over the world. So those include things like their investor data room. So that's kind of the, the crux of what we've done this year, and uh, I think it's been really impactful for our founders. It's a really robust program. Really robust program. Um, what's been a highlight for you? I think, you know, I look back, there's so many highlights and things I could, I could say, but really the, the trip that we took mid-session out to Boulder, Colorado has to be probably the culminating highlight. Uh, Demo Day, obviously a highlight, but the trip out to Boulder was amazing. We got to spend a week out there with some amazing partners. And that, uh, so the highlight for me was we were up on this mountaintop retreat just outside of Estes Park, and we did an exercise about what each of our founders needed to leave on the mountain. And I think that that was really impactful for them. I did it. It was impactful for me. And then we talked to them about the thing that they needed to bring down from the mountain, that they were going to take from the experiences that they've been having and, and bring that forward. So I would say that for me was the, the most impactful thing uh, that I've seen for, the, for this accelerator class. It was really amazing. Yeah, huge. Well, so many people have gone um, and come around these founders and helped make this event possible. And one of the groups that we haven't mentioned yet are the sponsors who have partnered with Ocean to bring Demo Day to you, one of them being Cohatch. Hey, what's your favorite thing to do when you visit a new city? For me, it's to find the coolest coffee shop possible. Earlier this year for work, I was in Austin, and I had the opportunity to find a really cool place. It's part coffee shop, part bike shop, and part wine bar, all in this really cool environment. So we get there, and I'm waiting in line to order my cappuccino, and I kind of start chatting with this guy and come to find out he's the owner of the place. And so we have a lot to talk about. It was really fun to get to know him and his story. He, he shares with me how him and his best friend, about five years ago, they had this dream, and they just decided to go for it. They were going to launch this business. And, man, they're having a ton of fun. They're having a lot of success. Uh, they're expanding. They're growing. They just bought the building next door. Uh, they're they're kind of living the entrepreneur's dream, and it was really fun to get to, to know him. 
eventually he asked me, hey, what do you do back home? And I quickly tell him about OSHA, and I say, well, we, we run this organization, and we help people launch new, new things in the world, new businesses. And he goes, oh, so like an accelerator? I said, yeah, sort of, maybe a little different than what you think when you think of a classic accelerator. He goes, well, like what? I said, well, a couple things. One, yeah, we work with high-tech businesses, but, but not just high-tech businesses. So yeah, we run a classic high-tech accelerator for high-tech, high-growth, venture-backable companies. We run this big demo day event. It's a ton of fun. We've been doing that for seven years. But man, we also work for, uh, run programs for small businesses and Main Street entrepreneurs. In fact, we have this program called Genesis. We launched it a few years ago. We have over 200 alumni that we've already served in that program. And then the second thing that we do that's probably a little different is that we're a faith-based organization. Fundamentally, we know how hard entrepreneurship is. I don't have to tell this guy this. He's living it. Uh, right now, right? Uh, but we know how hard it is. We know how difficult and painful it can be. And we know that there's a lot of ways, man, that you could launch a business, and most of them are chaotic uh, to you, to the, the, the founder, and to the people they love most. Uh, but man, there's some other ways to launch businesses that are really healthy and generative to you and the world around you. And so at Ocean, what we really want to do is we, we try to find entrepreneurs as early as possible, and we want to equip them with programming and with community and with an experience that helps them understand that they can launch from a place of health. Because fundamentally, we believe that healthy entrepreneurs, they launch strong businesses, and that leads to flourishing communities, and that's really what we're all about at Ocean. And this guy looks at me, and he goes, you know, if I had met you six years ago, when I was a corporate lawyer in downtown Chicago, I probably would have rolled my eyes. I probably would have thought, give me a break. Yeah, right. Running a small business can't be that hard. I mean, running a coffee shop compared to corporate law, it's got to be a breeze, right? But dude, I got to tell you, five years into this journey, I resonate so much with what you just said. I resonate with how hard it is. It's been hard on my marriage, my friendships, my relationships. It's been incredibly isolating. Even with a co-founder, there's times when I'm so alone. It's so stressful. It was as if the memories flooded his mind, all of the stressful conversations, the hard decisions, the difficult circumstances, those feelings of being alone. I could see it rush forward for him. And then he kind of paused and he looked at me. He said, Luke, it's really great to meet you, man. I'm so glad your organization exists. I only wish I had heard about Ocean five years ago when we were, when we were starting this place. And that conversation, like so many before it when I talk to entrepreneurs, is so affirming of our work at Ocean. It compels our team forward because it gives us belief that the work we do matters, that our approach is the right one, and that our voice in the entrepreneurial ecosystem is one that is needed and wanted by those who matter most, the entrepreneurs who need that level of support and care. I can tell you one more quick story from that trip to Austin that, that really kind of brings home the impact of our work at Ocean. See, a few hours before that really cool coffee shop, we were at another really cool coffee shop on the other side of town, and we were hanging out and connecting with uh, an alumni of Ocean. Uh, Renji Bajoy, he's the founder of Immersed. It's an Ocean Accelerator Class 3 company. Renji's an incredible leader, and he's currently sort of on a rocket ship. He was just named to Forbes 30 Under 30 list. His startup, Immersed, just broke all kinds of records, raising $9.2 million on an equity crowdfunding platform in less than 10 days. He's living sort of the dream right now. And as we sat with Renji, I was reminded how important health is as you're navigating these entrepreneurial waters. See, Renji's the portrait of health. He wakes up early, he eats well, he exercises, he tends to his relationships with care. He's an incredible leader, and the culture of his organization reflects that. But it's this deep reservoir of Renji's character that really sticks with me. 
It's the way that he just truly loves his team. He couldn't stop talking about them. He loves to honor and celebrate them and talk about the incredible quality of their work. It's this amazing relationship that he has with his spouse. They've worked so hard in their marriage to get on the same page. And just recently, he was able to hire her full-time into the company. And they were ecstatic and overjoyed to be working together. Man, it's the way that he has this singular focus for his investors. He wants to create a positive return so badly because he knows that so many of those investors are friends and family who are going to take that money and they're going to use it for good in the world. But mostly, it's this larger purpose and mission that drives Renji's life that sticks with me. You see, Renji moved to Austin because he thought he would more easily be able to attract really talented software developers. And while that almost certainly is true, the reality is that Renji realized very quickly that God had a bigger plan in place for him in Austin. Yes, he was going to build a company, but more than that, he was going to raise up and equip a team of leaders who would go out as people of faith, and they would be salt and light in the boardrooms, in the hallways of Austin, Texas, and beyond, in high-tech companies all around the world. Renji understands that his purpose is bigger than just building a business, and he understands his health and his faith are critical to that purpose. Every year in America, millions of people are launching new businesses. I tell people all the time, this is not a slowing trend, it is a growing trend. Last year in 2020, 4.4 million new business applications were filed. That's a million more than in 2019, a 24% increase, by far the largest on record. Look, I don't know who's in that 4.4 million. I have a hunch that the next really cool Main Street coffee shop is there. I have a hunch that the next high-tech founder like Renji, who's going to have this amazing cultural impact and change the way we work and live, is in that number. My guess is maybe you or someone you love is in that number, or if not in 2020, you will be soon. Here's what I want you to know. If you're in that number, if you're launching a business, if you're an entrepreneur dreaming of stepping out and creating something new, I want you to know that Ocean exists for you. We're here for you. And we're here to tell you that you can have everything you want. You can launch a strong business. You can make an incredible impact. And you can do it in such a way that you don't lose yourself and you don't lose the relationships and the people who are so important to you. You can do this from a place of health. There's a verse in Matthew 16, verse 26. It sort of guides our work at Ocean. Jesus is talking, he's sharing with his disciples, and he looks at them and he says, what good would it do a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? And we think about that verse often at Ocean, and we share it with entrepreneurs any chance we get. We say, what good would it build, do you to build the next great tech unicorn and lose your soul? What good would it do you to build the next great retail empire and lose your relationship with your spouse or your children? It would do you absolutely no good. So don't do it. Find a better way. Find a different path. Root your identity in something more than your business. I'm really thrilled that today you're going to meet the founders of seven incredible companies of Ocean Class 7. And these founders are evidencing that this is possible, that you can have a strong business and you can be a person of integrity and purpose and health. Welcome to Demo Day 2021. We're thrilled you're here I can't wait for you to meet these founders, and I can't wait to see what they, together with all of you supporting them, do in this world. Let's get started with our first pitch. Hi, my name is Mariam Nasrat, and I am unleashing the power of video games for a purpose beyond entertainment. 
Video games are powerful communication tools. The impact that they leave on our brains far transcends the virtual boundaries in which we play them. And this impact can be transformational for industries like education, marketing, and training. And yet, we do not see video games being mainstreamed for a purpose beyond entertainment. The reason for that is money, time, and skills. Now, on average, it can take up to $500,000 136 days, and a very large, complex team to make a mid-tier mobile game. And this is why video games are lagging behind in the no-code movement. We've seen rapid democratization of content creation of apps and websites, but it just hasn't happened for video games, especially purposeful video games. Well, until now. We have built a SaaS platform that empowers users to create their own educational, marketing, and training video games without writing a single line of code. Kind of like magic. Breshna creates video games with no code, at low cost, and at lightning speed. And it's this lightning speed that inspires the name Breshna. Breshna, the word, means lightning in the Pashto language, which is my mother tongue. Breshna transforms ordinary users into empowered content creators. Think about it. Think about the teacher who wants to make math learning fun. The business owner who wants to make selling innovative. Or the community activist that wants to make behavior change more impactful. They can all use Breshna to engage with their audience in a fun and impactful way. So Breshna replaces that math quiz or that brochure or that slide deck with powerful video games like Super Mario, but for a purpose beyond entertainment. And because Breshna transforms how video games are created and how they use, this is what puts Breshna at the intersection of two emerging markets. The low-code development platform market, which is expected to be $187 billion by 2030. Huge. And then the purposeful video games market, which is $29 billion by 2050. Now, both markets are huge, but check this out. There's very few people and companies operating at their intersection. And by operating at this intersection, we have a competitive edge. We are positioned as industry leaders because we're catering to a non-gamer and a non-tech audience, and we're empowering them to make video games that go beyond entertainment. We're also, it also helps that we have a provisional patent for unique features of Breshnam, and we have a capital-efficient team, which allows us to ensure that Breshna is low cost, which is at the crux of our business model. Our primary revenue generation stream is going to be SaaS subscriptions, monthly SaaS subscriptions ranging from $7 to $157, depending on the type of user. We're complementing that by secondary revenue streams, such as B2B game development services for advanced needs of our clients, advertisement revenue for the free users, and royalties from crowdsourced game assets that are submitted into Breshna. We have only been incorporated for five months, and we've made rapid progress. On July 15th, we launched Breshna's MVP with a game jam. In 96 hours, we had 6,000 people visiting our website and made, made 1,000 video games. We also have established nine B2B partnerships to expand the outreach of Breshna. And we've raised $175,000 in VC and angel investments. And most of these are from strategic investors that have expertise in the no-code gaming and edtech space. We're building Breshna in public, which means we're building with our community and for our community. I call this community our Bolt Squad because lightning, thunder, bolts, you know what I mean. And this bolt squad, in their own words, believe in Breshna. And they say, I quote, it's only the beginning 
and the sky is the limit. And this journey to the sky is building on my decades of experience in the education and serious games industry. For this work, I've received international recognition, including the inclusion, including the inclusion, including being on the Forbes Next 1000 list, as well as receiving the Clinton Global Initiative Honor Roll Alumni Award. And I'm not doing this work alone. I'm backed by a team of nine passionate game changers. We are diverse, we're remote, we're capital efficient, and highly motivated. And we've been working together for the past six years. In this past six years, we've created video games on reproductive health, climate action, COVID-19 awareness, and a whole host of other issues. And we bootstrapped our way to $250,000 in annual revenue in our previous company. We're now coming together to build Breshna and transform how video games are created and how they're used. And I am inviting you to join our Bold Squad. By becoming part of our Bold Squad, we get to break down the barriers, not just for the content creation of video games, but also how we're fundraising. Through our equity crowdfunding campaign, you can become an investor in Grid for as low as $100 without having any accreditation. So invest now in Breshna. Scan that QR code, follow the link, Invest now so you get to share in our upside. You get to ride the tide of no-code, purposeful video games. And best of all, you get to call Breshna your very own. So what do you say? Are you game? Thank you. Hi, I'm Anthony Stearns. I'm the founder and CEO of IRX Reminder. We're moving mental health patients from crisis to control. I've dedicated my career to solving healthcare delivery challenges and the last decade to looking at medication adherence and its connection to independence. And I saw this personally when my grandparents lost their independence in their 80s because they could no longer manage their medications correctly. And this is a problem in the mental health space where patients are disengaging from treatment at a rate of 25% every year. And that's not a small number of people. It's 4.8 million individuals. And of course, this frustrates staff who are leaving at a rate of 40% every year as well. And this leaves $24 billion in lost revenue for agencies at the same time that they are losing uh, their reimbursement rates trimmed every year. And it's because we have no idea what's happening to the patient when they're not in front of us in the clinic. There's no remote monitoring. But IRX Reminder has developed a simple, powerful solution built around our app and our Internet of Things pill dispenser that connects directly into an agency's EHR. And that allows staff to intervene quickly and increases the bottom line for agencies. And it is this triple wind of helping patients, helping staff, and helping agencies that has us so excited about IRX Reminder's idea. Our Internet of Things pill dispenser is the key to our technology, but the innovation really comes from adding a dosing window around the time of taking. So when you enter the dosing window, the patient sees the LED on the pod come on, and that means that they can take it. They grab the pod at the top, touch the touch sensor, place it on their hand, tilt it, and the medication comes out. One medication, uh, one kind of medication per pod. And that creates a record. And then the pod shuts down, and we're done till the next dose. However, if you're forgetting, that's when you get an alert to your smartphone, your smartwatch, a smart speaker in the corner. And only when you're missing your medications is an intervention triggered. So we get that remote monitoring mechanism that's missing. The pod itself is filled by the agency, so it creates another incentive to adopt. And uh, it's far safer for patients because there's, the medication's always contained, and unlike a pill pack or a seven-day pill box, there's not medications there that are possible for overdosing. And it's our situational smart alerting that has been proven to push high adherence. Uh, in fact, we can achieve 
over 80% adherence even with cognitively impaired patients. Let's take a look at our business model. Agencies expect to earn about 21 million with an average of about 4,000 patients in their, in their census. But they're leaving about $7 million on the table because of disengagement and loss of staff. But with 20% adoption of our technology in an agency, there's more data for uh, monthly med reviews, people show up at their interventions, at, at, their, um, at their appointments, uh, we trigger more interventions, and that means $10 million more dollars in revenue to do more good. That's a 40% net increase. What makes us different from all these solutions that you think are already out there is that we uniquely are plugged directly into the agency's EHR. We also have our proven smart alerting as well as a far more flexible and portable system because we're built around the small pods that are easily placed in your backpack or a purse during the day. The beachhead market is 2,500 mental health agencies that represent about an $8.6 billion market, but this is just our beachhead. We've really had a long journey that began in 2018 with our focus on mental health as part of NIH's i program. And we used those NIH funds to complete our technology, and in fact, at the end of 2019, we were awarded a patent, and the same week we won the American Medical Informatics Association Award. But we did run into COVID, and during that time, we've been able to connect cloud only with two agencies. And now we are ready for our first full demonstrations of this technology. And with that, we hope to prove, or we will prove, with, uh, with agencies that we can work with their pharmacies, that we can have good staff response times, and that the revenue we project will in fact occur, and we have every confidence that will occur. And with FDA clearance, we'll be able to move to launch in 2022. So we're in two agencies today with 22 research projects behind us, but we want to grow to be 460 agencies helping 180,000 patients and earning 80 million in revenue within five years. And we have the ideal team to do that. Myself, I'm a recognized expert in medication adherence, and I have over 50 years of healthcare sales experience helping me to bring this to market. In addition, we have great support from our advisors, including our investor, Steve Shapiro, and Dr. Fred Ma, an expert in FDA regulatory processes. So I'm asking you to join me to help move patients from crisis to control to achieve and maintain independence as an investor or as a strategic partner. Thank you. Hi, my name is Matthew Terry and I'm the founder and CEO of Dialguide. Right now, there are 30 million small businesses in the United States, and my team and I are looking to give a personalized digital vice president of sales to those small businesses who are B2B focused and looking to grow. So why would they need this? What's the problem? Well, right now, small business owners are wearing way too many hats, and they don't have the time nor expertise to effectively onboard new salespeople who they believe are vital to the growth of their business. And because of this poor onboarding, these sales reps can't close valid customers, and the business owner will inevitably lose these employees as most are paid on commission. We've done the interviews to validate this problem. 90% of surveyed companies don't have any sort of sales playbook or onboarding guide. 80% have a CEO who is both the lead sales rep and running other parts of the business, which means they're in charge of onboarding. And 75% have hired a sales rep that ultimately did not work out and they are losing money because to replace a sales rep, it costs between 50 to 75% of that employee's salary, and B2B businesses have to have some sort of sales rep. So what's the underlying reason that these sales reps are underperforming? Well, first and foremost, they're non-professionals. Small businesses don't have the money to hire the best of the best, which is why they statistically get nervous while on phone or Zoom calls. It also takes an extremely long time to gain product or industry knowledge. In one business's case, it took their reps four to six months to become independent. And this all bottles down to the fact that the CEO is not a good sales coach, and they shouldn't have to be. 
This is why we created Dial Guide. We are giving small business owners a personalized digital vice president of sales to help them gain the confidence and knowledge they need to build sales teams that close deals. Our product is an AI-enabled web interface centered around the phone call because that's where 92% of all customer interactions take place. There are three phases to our solution. The first is pre-call planning. This is where our AI helps guide the user in creating their digital sales playbook and call blueprints. We do this by analyzing the best reps out of business, which is oftentimes just the owner, and then combining that analysis with proven sales tricks and techniques. After the blueprint is created, we can guide any aspiring sales rep through a phone, phone call in real time, prompting them with the perfect things to say and making them stay on track. And after the call is over, we give visibility in what's going wrong, what's going right, and how to optimize their approach to sales. The science of sales is a hard thing to master, but it's a relatively easy thing to program. We give our users who are clueless about sales or just want a second opinion, proven sales strategies, tips, and techniques that are specific to their business and industry type, taking out a lot of the guesswork. And this is our secret sauce. We've built an interface to guide reps in real time, giving them the, giving them the questions and responses they should give per stage of the call, helping them maintain good sales etiquette, and allowing them to capture key data points and say the right things to get to the next interaction. This interface will dramatically decrease the time it takes to create new independent sales reps. Right now, we're starting in our journeys, journey. We're starting our journey um, in cities that are closest to our team. This is a $50 million market. After that, we will be scaling out to all small businesses that have between one to five employees and are dedicated to building a healthy sales team. And this is a $19 billion market. And the total attainable market for this business is $21 billion. Right now, we're the MVP stage, and we're coming in to small businesses as a sales consultant, helping identify their pains and helping um, our knowledge in how to build a product best for them. And once our product is up and running, we will be charging our customers a monthly fee per user. Dialguide is well positioned in the sales enablement industry. Unlike competitive tech companies, our product is for businesses without a sales coach and are inexperienced in the science of sales. And unlike sales and Unlike companies who specialize in onboarding and sales training, our product has the AI-enabled real-time interface to help reinforce training. It's known that 80% of all knowledge gained in sales training is lost within, the seven, within a seven-day period after the training ends. And that companies that use some sort of post-training reinforcement see 34% more first-year rep, first sales reps achieve quota. These two differentiators make Dialguide the perfect tool for the small business. I couldn't think of a better time to start this business. Phone and Zoom calls are vital in becoming the norm because of COVID. Over the past decade, there has been a large acceptance in AI-driven tech. And after the pandemic, there was a 137% increase in small business applications. That's more phone calls, less resistance to tech, and more people who see the pain in sales. Like I said, my name is Matthew Terry. I have a background in artificial intelligence and machine learning. I'm also a serial entrepreneur and have dealt with this problem firsthand. I know for a fact that technology has developed to a point where this product can come into fruition, but to build a business like this one, you have to have a specialist who is experienced in all areas of sales, a translator who can interpret the specialist and model the solution, and a marketer who loves the customer and can build a brand that they resonate with. I built this team, and together we've exceeded our goals and our initial um, customer acquisition in our alpha stage. We've built a preliminary live version of our product and I've started obtaining LOIs for our next release. We're turning our customers into our champions. One of our clients is named Freeset USA. They are in the promotional product industry and Freeset was trying to reach out to a specific business for over four years. And within a week of using our process and templates, we were able to open up a deal with this specific business and are in the negotiation stage now. Once closed, this deal will be two times their average deal size, and it was brought in by an inex a previously inexperienced sales rep who has only been at Freeset for six months. Small businesses are terribly underserved in the sales enablement industry. The art of sales is changing every day. We want to give older small businesses a fresh look on sales and bring newer small businesses up to speed. 
Right now we're in the middle of raising a pre-seed round and we're also always looking for small businesses who wanna have more confidence in their sales process. So if you know of anyone that I should be connected to, please connect with me at the email on this slide. Thank you for listening. I think we can all agree that we love our animals. Wouldn't it be great if we could provide them the care they need when they need it? Well, we can do that, and we are doing it. I'm Dylan, and I'm thrilled to be here today to tell you about how I've turned my passion for technology into a game-changing business opportunity with Animal Cloud. Let me introduce you to Radar and Rover. These are service dogs. They're the unsung heroes of our military, and I've been helping our soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan for years. They also help our local law enforcement keep our cities safe and they help search and rescue operations after a natural disaster. That's why my team and I founded Animal Cloud. I'm an Air Force vet, and I've led complex projects all over the world, and during this time of service, I became aware of these service animals. Now, they're the unsung heroes, but they're not cheap. The cost to purchase and train these animals can be almost $150,000. That's an expensive living asset. And whenever these animals are away from work, that's a direct cost. Routine veterinarian care can cost the government almost $89 million a year. And this is a huge opportunity. Across our government, we have 50,000 of these dogs, totaling $5 billion in government assets. Now, our solution is a mobile application that allows anyone to assess the health of these animals using wearable devices. Think about us like telehealth, but for animals. From there, vets can assess the vital signs, document the care, collaborate with professionals, and we can transfer all of this information with the same level of data security that we use in human healthcare. And we're able to manage this all over AWS, meaning that anyone, anywhere can get our services. And the way that they do this is by signing up each dog for $50 a month. Then we can sell them a wearable device and all of this activity generates $600 in annual recurring revenue. And this is a tremendous savings versus the current solutions, almost 20 times what's out there on the market. Now, we start with the 50,000 military working dogs, but our market is much, much bigger. Our total addressable market is 280 million animals. And we're already expanding into, into horses. Horses include service horses, performance horses, race horses, and family pets. And they're much more expensive to purchase and care for than dogs. But just like dogs, they don't have any telehealth solutions. Ultimately, we see our opportunity with livestock, cattle, and pets. That's a $168 billion opportunity. And as we grow, we're able to multiply our revenue effects. Our customers attract third parties, products, and services, and our third parties, products, and services attract our customers, and Animal Cloud is able to collect and dis distribute the data, generating revenue at every turn of our flywheel. Now, our initial market of dogs and horses fuels our growth. This is a tight-knit community that allows for word-of-mouth advertising and targeted marketing. From there, the vets are highly specialized, creating a secondary referral opportunity. And the budget managers of these operations are going to be extremely interested in the cost savings. And this is the perfect time to invest in our company. This past year has brought telehealth to the mainstream. Earlier this year, the Air Force funded us to do a product feasibility analysis on their military working dogs. Currently, we're finalists to receive $750,000 to prototype our solution at Lackland Air Force Base, where they've headquartered military working dog operations. And our team has a combined 40 years experience in sales and marketing, technology development, animal welfare, and leadership. And our products are, are already being put to the test by the absolute best in the industry. We have three stables, the Air Force, veterinarians and manufacturers using our software and providing us with critical feedback before we go to market. So thank you all so much for listening to this presentation. I would just encourage you all to join us at www.animal.cloud where you can engage in the conversation with millions of others, 
uh, other animal lovers just like yourself. If you're an investor, we would love to talk with you afterwards. And together, we can all make Animal Cloud soar. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brett Smith, and I serve as a CentOS Endowed Professor of Entrepreneurship at Miami University. We are thrilled to be the Demo Day sponsor here for Ocean. At Miami University, for the last 13 years, we've been ranked as one of the top entrepreneurship programs in the country, year after year after year. And we do that through three ways. We do it through immersive, deeply engaged, and ecosystem integrated experiences. What that means is we put our students into the deep end of the pool time after time after time, and we do that through partners like Ocean that allow us to put them in real world, real time sort of experiences. Three years ago, we launched our program called LIFE. It stands for Leading the Integration of Faith and Entrepreneurship. And our goal is to come alongside Ocean organizations like Ocean uh, that have really built this movement and do it with academic research and student experiences. Our mission is quite clear. We're gonna build world-class knowledge and world-class student experiences at this intersection. In the last year alone, we've held a, the first academic research conference where over 200 faculty from around the world showed up. We offered our first course in faith and entrepreneurship we gained our first million dollar endowment to really support this work. Our friends here at Ocean, we are happy to support because the partnership has existed since the beginning of Ocean. They have continued to support us, we have continued to support them. We support them by serving on their board, by bringing faculty to help facilitate their programs. They support us by being client projects, judges in competitions, and being intern hosts for the last eight years. It is with this opportunity that opportunity that we are thankful to support Ocean and their demo day. Hi, my name's Maddie. And I'm Mike. And we're the co-founders of Get Together, the fastest, easiest way to schedule. Today, Americans are busier they, than they've ever been, making scheduling time with others harder than it's ever been. That's because simply finding mutual free time takes too much time. Let me give you a few examples. By the time two millennial moms find an hour that doesn't overlap with their kids' intricate nap schedules, they themselves are ready for a nap. By the time college students find an hour to work on a group project, the assignment is already due. And by the time an empty nester schedules a tea time with his adult son, the plans have already changed. Why is it so hard? We found that the majority of scheduling actually happens via text message. In fact, texting is the single most used feature on a smartphone, with 97% of Americans texting at least one time per day, with an average response time of 90 seconds. Yet despite this, there is no single automated tool to help people schedule within a text message chain. As a result, millions of Americans end up in those classic, never-ending group chats trying to find time, only to realize two hours and 32 text messages later that no one is free until Christmas of 2025. But what if this were easier? At Get Together, we take the pain and effort out of scheduling by integrating directly into any text message chain and identifying the best time for everyone on the group chat in just seconds. Our automated text messaging software is easy, fast, proactive, and secure. Let me take you through it. First, it's easy. No more wasted time trying to figure out your own schedule. Our intuitive, one-time sign-up process takes under two minutes and quickly identifies not only the times that you're technically available to get together, but also the times that you actually want to get together with others. It's fast, no more back and forth. You simply add your get together contact to any group text message chain, and our AI will identify the best time for everyone to meet in seconds. It's proactive, no more calendar maintenance. As your digital personal assistant, get together will add confirmed events to your calendar send you the reminders the day of, and at the cadence of your choosing, 
Get Together will even ask if you'd like help with proactive weekend planning so you don't end up with free time and nothing to do with it. It's secure. You never have to share your calendar details with others, and your information will stay completely safe and private. And finally, no one can do this like we can, thanks to our patent-pending design and AI. So what do our consumers think? So far, the response has been fantastic, with nine out of consumers interested in the product and two out of three ready to pay for the product right away. With 97% of adults in the United States texting and 75% of them already using a digital calendar, our total addressable users in the United States alone is 153 million. Within that, we have identified two key prime prospects with high virality potential. The first is the 72 million millennials, aged 25 to 44. They're the largest generation, the first digitally native generation, and because most of them are raising families, they suffer the most acute scheduling pressures, with parents reporting less than one hour of free time per day. The second is the 20 million college students, age 18 to 24. They're early tech adopters just beginning their own independent scheduling habits, and they currently have no automated tool to schedule group projects with their classmates today. With each of these users scheduling three events per week, with an average three attendees per event, we expect rapid user growth. That's because using GetTogether is sharing GetTogether. In fact, if GetTogether only schedules half of a user's monthly events, and a conservative 20% actually schedule and sign up for the product, we anticipate that we will double users month over month. And once we've helped these users establish the habit of using text message to schedule activities with their friends, we want to enable them to schedule across all other facets of life. Which brings us to the next problem that we're solving. Today, 9 out of 10 consumers want to interact with businesses via text message, yet less than 50% of businesses are equipped for any form of SMS text messaging services, and none of those include scheduling. That's where Get Together comes in. We will act as the trusted intermediary to connect users, businesses, and their respective calendars to enable immediate, pain-free scheduling. To monetize our platform, we will transform the SMS marketing category from traditional push-based advertising to pull-based advertising that matches hand-raising users with the products and services they're already looking for. We will do this by equipping businesses with their own get-together handles and API scheduling integrations so that all a consumer has to do is trust their get-together contact to schedule things like haircuts, pediatrician appointments, dinner reservations, and more. So what is this all worth? The SMS ad market stands at $5 billion today and is the fastest growing digital ad category with a 20% CAGR, projecting it to 9 billion by 2024. Our approach is going to expand this category incrementally by another 5.4 billion if we assume monetization of just 20% of the total US adult population's monthly events. And as the early category creator, Get Together is poised to take the majority of this market with an estimated 3.6 billion in 2024. To reach 3.6 billion, we'll begin by acquiring 100 million monthly active users. With each of those users scheduling an average of 10 events per month, we anticipate monetizing at least two of those events at an average advertiser cost of $1.50, which is in line with Open Table's pricing model and conservatively lower than advertising in search today via entertainment. So why now? With more Americans getting back into the world, Get Together has a unique and strategic opportunity to become a powerful way for people to re-engage, prioritize, and maintain their most important relationships. And why us? Well, as Get Together's technical founder, 
I'm a Duke engineering graduate, general electric software engineer, and former vice president of data science at Nielsen. I built our product in-house from the ground up, deployed it to Google Cloud, and I'm getting ready to scale it to millions of users. And as our business co-founder, I've spent 10 years at Procter & Gamble, leading billion-dollar brands, establishing global marketing campaigns, and building direct-to-consumer businesses. And I'm ready to get this in the hands of millions of users. To date, we've been joined by eight interns from three different campuses and have received investments from 11 tribes ventures as well as non-dilutive funding from Main Street Ventures. And we're looking forward to adding more partners to the Get Together family soon. To learn more, text Get Demo Day to 513-434-6957. And with that, let's, let's get, get together. together. Don Mitchell, co-founder, CEO of NG9 Woman Services, and creator of Seraphim Suite, the next generation 911 solution for saving lives and improving the lives of those who save them. There is a significant problem in 911 that we are solving. 25 million calls each year from wireless phones go to the wrong 911 center. The reason for this is that we are still using techniques developed in 1997, 1998. We're using the, the area of the cell tower instead of the location or relevant location of the caller. The data is managed by the 911 centers using spreadsheets. This, this results in delayed response, tragic consequences, resulting in 168,000 deaths per year because of delayed response and great trauma in the 911 center, which is contributing to staffing shortages, morale, and a great amount of overtime. With Seraphim Suite, we provide an immediate answer to the spreadsheet management problem by replacing it with a cloud-based portal that visualizes data, automates location, eliminates this manual process, and dramatically reduces response time. We are well positioned against the competition. How are we doing this? We have a world-class team with a great number of years in public safety service. I am a visionary leader in my 25th year in this industry. We have an anchor patent and four more in process. The market opportunity is large and we are laser focused. We are post revenue after our first pilot just over a year ago. This is what our customers say about Seraphim Suite that it takes tasks that were taking hours into minutes. I'm Don Mitchell. This is a great market opportunity for someone interested in improving public safety, doing something great for the social good with a faith-driven company. If you are in public safety, please contact me so that we can improve public safety together. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gavino, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cylon. Cylon is going to be the first micro-investing robo-advisor in Mexico. And we have the vision of making saving and investing easy and effortless, first for Mexico and then for Latin America. So what is Cylon? 
Silon is a micro-investing robo-advisor that rounds up your transactions made with a debit or credit card and automatically invests the spare change into a portfolio that suits you the most. So what is the problem that we have in Mexico and Latin America? Very few people invest in the stock market. And this, this is mainly because we have high-end trans barriers and a lack of financial education. And this has a direct correlation with their financial well-being and the quality of their life. With Cylon, we want to we introduce people to the financial world. We make it easy for beginning investors who want to avoid complex processes. And what do you need to start investing? Just pocket change. With Cylon, we want to help Mexico and Latin America invest in the background of their life. The market size is big. We have a potential addressable market of 650 million inhabitants in LATAM, and we narrow it down all the way to our service obtainable market of around 5 million, which is 15% of the banked individuals in Mexico between 18 and 45 years of age. We start big with our potential addressable market because we plan to expand quickly to Latin America. Our target customers look like this. They have to be 18 to 45, lower middle to upper lower class. They have to be banked, tech savvy, want to improve financial income and financial habits. They need a friendly app and automatic processes. And they have challenges finding low cost investment advisors or don't trust their financial knowledge. We offer Diverse, investing in diversified portfolios, these are made from ETFs of Vanguard and BlackRock. Spare change investings, different, way, different ways you can invest. Free financial education, and much more. So let me show you how the app works. You register, you link your credit and debit cards. Then we ask you some questions to define your risk, and we provide you the best portfolio that suits your, your risk and time horizon, and then we show you a hypo hypothetical projection throughout the years of your investment. Now let me introduce you our CF CFO, Gonzalo. Hi, there's three ways you can invest. As a roundup or a percentage of each transaction, or you can set recurring investments each day, week, or month. We're going to offer this academy. It does two things. The first one, it increases investing knowledge, which is the problem we want to solve. Second, helps them plan their financial future, that it's the barrier we're overcoming. This is how we make money. We're going to offer a monthly membership of 25 pesos, that it's around one USD dollar, or an annual membership that it's 250 pesos, that it's around $12. We have one competitor. Well, actually, it's an alternative. Company's name is Flink, and they have shown great appetite for financial applications because in the first year, there were more than 1 million users, but they haven't solved the problem. Still, 1.5% of Mexican people invest in the stock market. What's missing is robot advising, auto rebalancing, recurring investing, and spare change investing. But most importantly, free financial education. That's why we're launching Cylon, to unlock Mexican investment. This is our growth projection. We're going to get to 4 million users in the first five years, to a million in the second year. This is conservative. conservative. Flink, the alternative, got to a million in the first 12 months. Also, these 4 million users will generate more than 200 million in revenues. This is the silent team. team. Gavin and I have been Gavino and I have been working in our friendship since we were 16, and 
We both studied finance in the Iberoamerican University. Then Gavino studied business in The Hague, and then he worked in one of the biggest brokers in Mexico. I worked in a prestigious private equity firm called Promecap. This is our development team. They have been developing financial applications since eight years ago. So we're silent. We're making saving and investing easy and effortless. And if you are, if you are a potential investor, come reach us out if you want more information. And if you are a user, join the waitlist. Thank you for listening. Wow, thank you to the teams at those seven amazing companies. Grid, IRX Reminder, Dial Guide, Animal Cloud, Get Together, NG911 Services, and Cylon. My name is Mark Phillips. I'm the managing partner of 11 Tribes Ventures. We're an early stage venture fund based out of Chicago, Illinois. We've had the distinct privilege and honor of partnering with Ocean Accelerator Cohort 7 this year. What that means is we've invested directly into the seven companies that you saw here on stage. Suffice to say, we are extremely excited about our partnership. But what makes this partnership even more unique is that it runs deeper than just financial accumulation. In an industry where burnout is viewed as inevitable, flourishing is optional, Ocean is changing the game. And 11 Tribes is right there with them. We believe that by investing in people first and prioritizing relationships, we're gonna build a portfolio that is more durable, more sustainable, and in the long run, more profitable. So whether you're an investor, an entrepreneur, or someone that's just passionate about purpose-driven innovation, I hope that you'll find a way to partner. Specifically to the investors on this demo day call, I want to invite you to the investor after party where I'll be hosting a table and I'm happy to discuss any questions you might have or specifics about each of the companies. We're thrilled about the organizations and we're excited to be partnered. So from all of us at 11 Tribes Ventures, thank you to Ocean Accelerator. Thanks, Mark. It's been a great time together and we've witnessed the work of thousands and thousands of hours that have gone into these companies. But the reality is the high tech accelerator is just a small part of what Ocean does every day. Every day there are entrepreneurs engaged in our small business training, in um, peer coaching groups, in uh, virtual webinars and workshops. And they're coming from all over. Just like in Austin, everywhere you look, there are people with entrepreneurial dreams, people who want to step out and build something new. They're finding Ocean from Atlanta, from Nashville, from Detroit, from Denver, from Dallas, from Indianapolis and Chicago, all over. They're finding Ocean because they want to build a solid business and continue flourishing personally. And like Luke told us earlier, the demand is not going away. More than ever, people are looking for support in their entrepreneurial journeys. The need for Ocean is greater than it has ever been before. Yeah, at Ocean, we're a nonprofit organization, and we're really proud of the fact that as a nonprofit, we actually generate a significant amount of our own revenue. We generate about 40% of our annual budget, but we rely on the philanthropic support and the generosity of a broad community for the remainder of that. The difference in this moment that we're in is that that demand that Christy is describing. There's an opportunity to meet a new level of demand and an increased capacity to train and equip. This tenor and this fervor of the conversation nationally is bubbling over, and there is a need for Ocean to level up and to meet the opportunity to train more entrepreneurs. And so if you're here and you're watching this, our humble ask is that if you liked what you saw on this stage today, if you believe that entrepreneurs like that with that kind of investment and programming and belief can go out and change the world and create positive cultures, our ask is that you would join us in whatever way that makes sense for you and the world that you're in. Maybe that looks like bringing one of our training programs into your community. We'd love to talk about that. 
If you're an investor, maybe it looks like investing in one of these businesses. You're gonna join a private event right after this, and we hope you have some great conversations and make meaningful connections with these entrepreneurs. Or maybe that means investing in the nonprofit of Ocean so that this work can be sustainable and so that we can invest in the next generation of entrepreneurs who want to launch healthy and strong businesses so that we can have flourishing communities. Thank you for coming to Demo Day. We look forward to continuing to partner with every single one of you.